Hey church, pastor's no time. So I'm an engineer by training and uh, one of the things I learned about was a bunch of material science and there's this word that's been running around in the back of my head and it's the word resilient. So when I learned about materials at university, some materials are very strong but very brittle. Glass would be one of those. Um, you know, if you have a ruler made of glass, you could break that quite easily. Uh, and this idea of being resilient is what we need to be. A piece of rubber is resilient. You can beat it with a hammer as much as you want. It keeps springing back to shape. It can't be deformed or distorted. And it seemed to me as I look across history that God's people have always been resilient. Um, yeah, sure, the circumstances around us affect us. Um, things happen that do change us, but we're not bent or distorted out of shape. We kind of take the knock and then bounce back because our security is not in the things around us. It is in the great eternal and unchanging God. And it seems at this particular time in history, Jesus Church is going to have to learn to be really resilient. For a long time, things have been easy for the church in broad uh, and the culture is changing and the world of COVID means that we're going to have to think differently about what it means to be God's people. And a lot of the things that gave our lives security have changed. And so we're going to have to learn to be more and more resilient, to hold on to some things lightly so that when they're shattered, we can let go of them and move on and grab hold of the next things. And in all of these things, there is one sure and certain hope, and it's God. He is the same, we are told, yesterday, today, and forever. The hope that he gives us of eternity is unshifting and unchanging. And if that's where our security lies, we will be able to deal with all sorts of crazy circumstances and yet come through the other side okay. And so my prayer is in this season that you would keep saying to God, Lord, help me let go of the things that you need me to let go of and help me to hold on to you. And my prayer is that you would find in God all of what he promises to be, that you would find him sure and steadfast, that you'd find his love unchanging, his presence constant, and so that you would be able to weather the storms of life in this particular time well. And so do pray about that, please, that we would be a resilient people and that our faith would stand the test that it's surely going to come up against in the next while. We've been gathering for worship live. It's been great. Love you to come and be part of that. Uh, at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings, we, until the end of the year, are going to be equipping people and helping people understand the reality of what it means to make disciples. We're trying to shift some things in our thinking about what it means to be pe Jesus' people. And so we'd love you to come and be part of that. It's really dynamic and interactive, and it's been a great learning opportunity for us all. 10 a.m., regular gathered worship. Please do sign up for Quicket. Sign up your kids as well, please. Even if they're going to Kids Church, please do sign them up. And then the third thing is that we've obviously always got great opportunities for you to serve. You have been given time and talent and treasure. And one of the things we'd love you to do is take some of your talents and skills and leverage those to bless God's people. There is something of a value we want to have about being a servant-hearted people. A huge number of our uh, family serve on a regular basis. And if you're not yet serving, we'd love to find a way to plug you in. Please drop a mail to info at proteavalleychurch.org. Otherwise, we will see you on Sunday. Have a great week. Look forward to worshiping together with you on Sunday.